Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the S&P 500 for Tuesday, July 23rd, 2013. Well, a black body candle today, and uh, it's been some time since we've seen a black body candle, and the previous time was roughly about a week or so ago. And uh, prior to that, we had a uh, change of trend uh, to the upside following that black body candle. And the market has been an uptrend for the past four consecutive days. And today we've had a continuation of that trend to the upside, a candle with a higher high and a higher low. But the large black body denotes the sellers finding some downside momentum in this market in net terms. The black body uh, denotes the sellers making a, uh, an amount of net bearish progress on the day between the open and the close. And that's in contrast to the previous four trading days with white body candles. This does suggest that there is a possibility of a change of trend. Now the sellers have also taken control of this market. And for the past three consecutive trading days we've seen these buyers close with control and today uh, control has swung back to the sellers and this suggests a strong possibility for a change of trend. If we do see a change of trend, then we should have uh, fairly strong support down at the 1687 level. 1687 was a previous important level of resistance, and now there's potential for that to change character and act as support. If that area fails to act as support, uh, we could see some strong support coming in roughly down around the 1675 level and around the 10 cent trading at 1678. Now in terms of candlesticks, this is a potential Japanese candlestick reversal pattern. It's a potential uh, bearish engulfing pattern. And here we have the prior uptrend, which is important. And then we see the previous white body candle and a black body candle where the body of the current candle engulfs the body of the previous candle. So we're looking for confirmation of that. And confirmation is very important. We don't actually have a reversal until we see a lower high and a lower low. So that's what we're looking for. Now, obviously, as I've mentioned, that 1687 level may limit the downside for this market. But the important uh, factor here today and, as, and for the previous day's trading was the market testing to around the 17 round up a level of resistance. The market traded to 1698, almost 1699, and we've seen some strong rejection from there. And it's not uncommon to see that, and it's, uh, uh, it's something that we would expect to. We would expect to see the market uh, uh, finding some resistance around that round number. The likely scenario is that the market tests down to around the 1687 level, or just below, and then bounces back up while the buyers attempt to build some momentum take out the 1700 level and that is a real possibility but we can't preempt the market we need to react to the market so uh, as this trend is still officially up there is a possibility of the market testing up to or beyond the 1700 level and that's why we don't uh, say that we have any uh, reversal patterns until we confirm them so the trend is still up and uh, uh, the trend is uh, in force until we have the opposite configuration of the high and low but certainly the short term dynamics are not favouring continuation of this trend to the upside. In terms of the Fibonacci extension, we're examining the relationship of the current first time frame uptrend to the previous time the market was trending up, and uh, the market hasn't interacted yet with uh, um, any important levels after we traded in a bullish manner around the 23.6% level. The next target is up around the 1702 level, so corresponding with the 1700 round number level of resistance, and uh, we can see the effect of that coming into play at the moment. So there is potential for the market to test the lower levels, but if the market does rally again, uh, we could see very strong resistance coming in around that level. In terms of the Fibonacci retracement, we uh, have uh, commenced trading up above the 161.8% level. The market is now trading in a bearish manner above there. The next level that uh, we uh, should have been watching was the 261.8% at 1705, obviously above the important 1700 round number level of uh, resistance. It's debatable whether the market will trade up to there before the first time frame uptrend has changed to the downside. In terms of Ichimoku, obviously uh, the market remains bullish in all three time frames. The market's trading above the cloud, so bullish in the long-term time frame. And we are trading a fair way up above the cloud now, so we are looking a little bit overextended. The market is uh, exhibiting a, a fair degree of disequilibrium and wouldn't uh, be unusual for the market to test the lower levels and try to come back towards that equilibrium that's suggested by the cloud for that long-term equilibrium. In terms of the Kijun Sen, we are trading above the Kijun Sen, so the market's bullish in that medium-term time Time frame. But once again, with that indicator, we are trading a long way above there, so still looking overextended. So a retracement wouldn't be uh, 
out of the books. Um, but uh, trading uh, still above the 10 consent, the green line here, so we're bullish in that uh, time frame. But that 10 consent is still pointing up quite sharply, reflecting the solid upside momentum that we've seen in the market. Now very often when we see that solid momentum to the upside, the first place that the market finds support, especially when we have that indicator pointing up sharply, is the uh, 10 consent and that's at 16.78 and the market will usually bounce off there. So I suggest that if the 16.87 level doesn't hold, the area around the 10 consent or just below uh, especially considering we have this important 1675 uh, level of uh, um, previous resistance around there. It should hold its very, very strong support and there's a likelihood of the market bouncing off there if we do trade down to those levels. In terms of the ticker spin, that's above the corresponding price action. It's, it's confirming the uh, bullishness that we're seeing in all three time frames. So a likely scenario here is that the uh, market may change trend. Uh, we could test to the 1687, test down to around the 1675, 1678 level and perhaps bounce off there with the uh, uptrend in all three time frames continuing back on its way and perhaps with the buyers building enough momentum for a decent assault on the round number level of uh, uh, 1700.